Hey everybody, uh, it's Mike here and baseball collector. And as you can see, I've got a special guest with me, and it's my wife Julie. Say hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. And uh, so one of my ideas in my last video was to interview my wife because I know there's a lot of people out there on forums that have questions about what their spouses or significant others think about their card collecting, and so I thought I would put it down on. Uh, YouTube to show you guys what's the real story is and I haven't asked her any of these questions already I'm a prepped her so this is gonna be kind of off the cuff so go with it uh, okay I've, I've got questions over here that I'm gonna read and she can answer so is this a quiz or? it's kind of a quiz yes okay. so what if I get the wrong answer then there's no penalty okay uh, so how long have we been married um, well our son is 17 plus one is 18 18 okay good that's correct uh, how long have I been collecting cards? <laughs> Since you were like six or seven? Yeah, a long time. 1981 is the correct answer on that. Uh, did you know that I have 365 subscribers on YouTube? Yes, because you told me the other day. <laughs> you were very excited. All right, so now I got a bunch of questions, honey, from uh, people on YouTube. So they're, they're called YouTubers. You're on YouTube or tubers. Okay. Is that kind of like the people that put on the unique makeup and stuff? No, they just... No, not many of them wear makeup because they're mostly dudes. So, oh, okay. All right, so uh, from Dustin Bellinger, what are your thoughts the first time you witnessed me doing a video? <laughs> well, I didn't witness it. I first heard you, and I was like, who is he talking to? What is he doing? Is he FaceTiming somebody? I thought you were, like, FaceTiming that Justin guy that's in Arlington or yeah, something. And no. then, uh, anyway... I thought, okay, well, great. Okay, good. Uh, Ray from Philly says, and asks the question, what do you think about baseball cards, and does your father or brother collect cards? Okay. Is Ray from Philly the guy that opens up his packages in the mail? Uh, they all do that, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Ray so, from Philly. Um, what do I think of cards? Of cards. Just in general. Um, I think they're pieces of paper with pictures on them that okay. are way overpriced. All right, fair enough. And no, my dad and brother did not collect baseball cards. Okay. So I've got, this is a four-part question from a guy named Bill who's Hoff Collector. He's got an amazing Hall of Fame collection. Okay. That's awesome. So, uh... I do know what Hoff means. Hoff stands for what? Hall of Fame. Yes. Have you been to the Baseball Hall of Fame? I have. You have, yes. Okay, here's what Bill wants to know. If you were able to turn my card room here into something else, what would it be? Nothing. It's fine. Just another bedroom? Yeah, just, I mean, we okay. really don't even need another bedroom. All right. Maybe an exercise room there if you I go. were to turn it into anything. But... Okay. Camera's right there. Right? Oh, well, I'm there just you looking go. at you. Well, don't look at me. Because you're looking. the interviewer. I am. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you think that I am a dork or a geek? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little. Bit. Maybe a little. That's all right. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been okay. a dork or a geek. Uh, do you admire anything in my collection? Um, I think the Hall of Famers are really cool. Uh, I think the ball is really cool. The ball. Okay. The ball. We'll it's talk about that later. The ball. And. Mm, I, mean, I think it's all kind of cool. She's looking around, trying to think of something. Um, how would you feel if I really wanted to spend five thousand dollars on a baseball card or an <laughs> autograph? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. That's a, that's the correct answer. Uh, yeah, we've had a talk about that. I got some more questions about that later from some other. People. I would feel like you needed to amp up your work life. Okay. So you could pay for that. Fair enough. All right. From uh, this is from Mojo Autographs. What's your biggest pet peeve about my card collecting? Aside from all the trash from the packages, and that oftentimes I'm asleep before you get to bed because you're in here doing this. Yep. Mm -hmm. It has started to invade the guest closet a little bit. I would say. I'm having probably. to get more space. Yeah. Okay, this is from Top Shelf. And thanks, guys, to everybody for sending in questions. I really appreciate it. it. Makes this a lot easier. Is it easy to shop for Christmas gifts for me? 
Um, actually, no. You would think it would be. Like, I did buy a baseball card one time for you. Um, What'd you buy? I don't even remember. <laughs> it, was a, it was a nice card. I think it was a... Was it when you were doing Juan or you were doing... Yeah, something. Anyway. She's bought me cards before. Some guy from Florida knew what you needed, and so I made contact with him. But, I mean... Even if I were to buy you a card, it probably would have some wrinkle in the edge or something that would be like, oh my gosh, this just doesn't fit right. the bill. So. Camera. Okay, camera. The, I'm look looking at, at you. Look at the people. They're Hi watching people. you. All right. <laughs> so now we got some serious questions. Okay. But I thought that was a serious question. No, the Christmas gifts? Yeah. No, oh, this okay. is more serious. Okay. So this is from Dustin Abraham. He has three questions. You ready? All right. Can you handle Go. three? I'm ready, Dustin, for you. All right. Does it bother you how much money I spend on cards? I don't really know, and I kind of sometimes don't ask. So. What <laughs> What about the time that I spend doing it? Mm, yeah, I mean, it would be nice, but honestly, I work a lot, so it kind of gives me an excuse to say, I work, so don't bother me when I work too much. That's right. Uh, what about the amount of space that it takes up in the house? As long as it stays in this room, I'm good. You're good. It's just that trickling into Other the spaces. guest bedroom. Yeah. Okay, so this is from uh, Victor Roman Sr. Uh, does Mike have a card budget? <laughs> so that's a no. Um, well, I think he tries to have a card budget. Well, but I have a budget if I don't find something I like. I don't think that. Someone's at the door. I know. They don't need to be okay. answered. Okay. Um, what about... Uh, let's see. This is still from Victor. If he does have a card budget, does he stick to it? No. That is correct. I do not stick to it. What advice would you give fellow wives of card collectors out there? That's a good question. Create a card budget. And stick to it. <laughs> what else? Now, actually, them? find something else that you can enjoy that you know channels your energy, and then as long as they're not going totally crazy, and you're not on food stamps and having to spend all your grocery money at Aldi. I would say let him have fun. Like that. All right, this is from writer 1984. I guess he may have been born in 1984 and he's a writer. Uh Oh, like writer like W Oh, yes, writer. like a writer, like he's a writer. So do you sometimes feel like my hobby takes a priority over you? What do you think? No, I love you more than anything. I'd give up all these cards for you in a second. Seriously, seriously. Okay, but sometimes, yes, I do. I have to. A little bit sometimes. Okay. I'll try to do better about that. Oh, it's okay. All right. Do then you, I get the TV remote by myself and I don't have to share with you, so. That's right. That's, a bonus. that's right. Do you know. Here's from Giuseppe1. Okay. Okay. Do you know. How lucky you are to be married to a balding, bearded card collector because we are an elite group. Yes. Oh, all right. That's right. Okay. He is handsome. Thank you. All right, we got a lightning round. Are you ready? We're going to do a lightning round of questions. You have to answer them as fast as you can. Do I give justification for these? or just Sometimes. Answer I will, you, will, you will know when I ask the question. Okay. Here we go. Lightning round. Lightning round. Who's your favorite baseball player? Cal Ripken Jr. Why is he your favorite? Because he's handsome. He's got beautiful blue eyes. And he, like, got that other record. I have blue eyes. But I liked him before he got that record. The consecutive, consecutive games Consecutive games. Who did he beat? Played. Whose like, record did he break? I don't know, but I know he has, like, 2,600 and something. Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig, that's right. Isn't okay. a disease named after him? <laughs> it is. Okay, just checking. I mean, uh, that's not, after I'm not Lou trying Gehrig, to be, not Cal Ripken. Right, and right. I'm not trying to be rude about the whole disease. I hope that's, like, right. totally not PC. Sorry. No, it's all good. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite baseball team? Uh, Texas Rangers. Perfect. Although I grew up knowing the Royals. What's your favorite baseball stadium? Hmm. I like Rangers because it's close. I don't have to travel. But the favorite stadium I've been this to? This is a lightning round. Oh, right? lightning round. Uh, Camden Yards. Camden. Uh, how many baseball stadiums have you been to? I don't know what, like 21? Yep. Uh, why do you like visiting different major league parks? Because it's a chance to visit the country and see different things and see different layouts do and you, eat good food. Okay, continuing. Do you know who Pepino Man is? No. <laughs> who the heck is Pepino Man? He's a YouTuber guy. Okay. Great guy. Okay. Sorry, Pepino Man. I know you. Do you know where I keep my special balls? 
<laughs> I do know where you keep your ball. Yes, she so. does. Okay. And what are you going to do with all this baseball junk when I die? Uh, see if the kids want any of it and then There you go. So, thanks, honey. So that's the end of my interview with a, the wife of a baseball card junkie. Hope you Do guys enjoyed it. Do they not want to know about my nicknames that I bring in for people? And all I don't the know. fun stuff that I have learned from your passion for baseball? Well, honey, we may have to do another video. We're already over 10 minutes, and people have very short attention spans on YouTube. Okay. I'm telling you. So, I'm going to close it up. You. She's got some pretty cool nicknames. Some nicknames. Maybe if you want to hear a volume two of this, we'll do some other baseball talk with my wife. But I appreciate her being on and doing this. And uh, look at the camera and tell them bye. Goodbye. Thanks, guys. Uh, leave me comments and uh, like, subscribe, whatever, tell me how all that stuff. I am. Yeah, yeah, please. All right. See ya.